The inception of our wild Sauvignon Solero comes from our intermittable love of this ancient variety, which was first recorded in Northern Italy in the 10th century. We are inspired by traditional winemaking techniques, where we handpick and footstomp small parcels of Sauvignon fruit. These are then predominantly fermented in clay eggs on full solids with 100% wild yeast, much like they did many years ago. This layering of vintage over vintage was an idea to create further depth and intensity to the wine. We hope that this will continue to develop with each Solero we release. So this is our new Solero system with ceramic eggs. This is a system that we're implementing this year for our wild Sauvignon to turn it into the uh, Solero number two. So we've developed a system where we're going to try to uh, integrate the best of both worlds. Every year, the top row of eggs will be filled with the, the new vintage and fermented in the three eggs. Once fermentation's finished, we'll siphon out half of each of these eggs. The top eggs drop down, so 50% of the wine goes into the existing eggs underneath. Bottling half of the volume each year allows us to maintain the complexity of the back vintages, as well as allowing us to introduce the current vintage, which retains the freshness in the wine. This is our statement Sauvignon for Soma. It has an unusual and brooding personality, but nonetheless can be enjoyed with a meal. This particular release has the trademark linear citrus freshness from the Sauvignon, but with a complexity and intensity on the palate. Some would call it wine with funk. We love it for its structure, depth and ancient origins. We believe it can age for the next 10 years, but time will tell. For more information on Soma's Wild Sauvignon Solero, please visit our website, soma.com.au. So all sorts of interesting things are happening in the Yarra Valley with regard to new styles of wine. So it's not just Cabernet, Chardonnay and Shiraz. There are all sorts of interesting varieties, such as Sauvignon, which is a variety that we have imported from the Jura region in central eastern France. I'm Hugh and Hook, and you're watching The Real Review. So this is Sumar Wild Sauvignon Solero number one. And it doesn't have a vintage. And they tell us on the back label it's a blend of vintages. I did ask them what vintages are in it, but I didn't get a reply. So I think they're trying to be mysterious about this wine, and it is a very mysterious wine. It's a fascinating wine. Uh, it doesn't taste particularly old, but it tastes, it smells very complex, especially. I mean, it's got some of that character that you find in those wines from the Jura, which have been aged under the sherry floor. The curious thing is it doesn't mention the sherry floor anywhere there or on their website. So there's a nuttiness to this wine, which is really fascinating. It's a smokiness, a nuttiness, almost a cheese rind character, uh, like the Parmesan cheese rind. Um, it's just a very complex nose and it's a very particular nose. It doesn't smell like any other style of wine. I find that very attractive. Um, there's also a touch of the smoked charcuterie there, like imagine smoked chicken or something like that, those sorts of characters. And again, those flavours that you get on the nose come through clearly on the palate. So it's not simple fruit wine. It's not just a matter of grapes. Uh, as a lot of Australian Sauvignons are very much fruit wines. This is much more interesting. They've put much more effort into trying to build complexity into this wine. As, as, to, as, as the body of it wine, the wine goes, it's medium bodied, it's soft, it's dry. It doesn't, it's not austere, but it has a soft dryness to the palate, which is very appetizing and very enjoyable, very palate friendly. I really like this wine. Um, how do we score it? We rated it at 92 and we've said um, drink it for the next five or six years. We've suggested as a food complement, uh, flounder with olives and lemon, um, which I think the, uh, 
the complexity of that dish, it's certainly a fish type wine, but the, um, I think the lemon of the dish would chime in well with the, the citrusy flavours that are buried deep within this wine. It is a smart wine. Good health.